Oh, the door shut, I hear her. There she is. So predictable. She just likes people. So she assumes if I'm talking, I must be talking to people. Naturally, she's correct. I am talking to people, I see. They're just not physically here right now. So it's kind of funny. When I was choosing carpet for this room, I definitely chose the shag carpet because I thought that she'd like it and she loves rubbing up on it. She likes like the way it feels and everything, it's just the texture. I mean, she is a cat, so texture is very important to her. But she loves the shag rug. <laughs> also downstairs I have all this cool stuff, I have like a little waterfall, all different plants and everything. And when people come over for the first time and they see her, you know, all the plants are like relative to her size. So it looks like she's like a little cheetah cub. And if you don't see her head and you just see her body, especially like going around the plants, it just looks like she's legitly a cheetah. So like all of my students have seen her. And they're just like, do you have a cheetah? Do you have a panther? I'm like, yes, I have a cheetah panther. Absolutely. 100%. It's funny, people say they don't like cats because they're not affectionate. If I did not ever shut my door, she would just, this is all, I would like, I couldn't do anything. I'm here trying to make a video about 3D printing and mods and whatnot. And here she is. This is just the way it is. So, it's just nonsense. If you actually, you know, same way you'd spend time with a dog, like hang out with the dog and socialize with the dog, then yeah you'll have this kind of relationship with your cat. It doesn't need to be a Bengal. I know everyone says I say Bengal wrong. It's Bengal, whatever, E-L. I guess I've always said it wrong to the point that now I just say it wrong. You gotta go on Google and be like, Google, how do you pronounce B-E-N-G-A-L, Bengal. I'll get it right one of these days. But yeah, it all comes down to socialization. It's like a child who's just has terrible social skills. If they weren't socialized properly, then yeah, they're gonna have terrible social skills. If you have a cat and you just kind of let them be independent, then yeah, they will be independent. People get cats from breeders and they will socialize them and they'll have great personalities. There's no reason you can't do that yourself. And if you look at the videos from like about four years ago, there's just tons, tons of stuff on how to socialize your cat. And you can see when I first got her, she was terrified. She wouldn't even come out of her crate. She wanted nothing to do with me. And now she's like obsessed. And it's great but it's not because I got her that way it's because I hung out with her and we have a good relationship now she just won't leave me alone tough life anyway be sure to like subscribe follow t check out Twitter Twitter is just everything to do with technology and Definitely check out that GoFundMe campaign. Super, super important. Alright, that is it for now.
Have a great day, everybody, and more updates to come. Be sure to follow my Twitter and check out my GoFundMe campaign to help raise money to 3D print prosthetic limbs for kids. Links in the description below.